The Arthrex long humeral nail is intended to treat stable and unstable fractures of the humeral shaft. The nail features three holes proximally, two threaded round locking holes, and one oblong hole that allows for up to 5 mm of inline compression, as well as a 6 degree lateral bend to facilitate two entry points. The nail comes in lengths of 20 to 30 cm in increments of 2.5 cm and diameters of 7, 8, and 9 mm. The nail utilizes 3.5 mm screws distally, along with the choice of a 2 mm or 5 mm end cap. The system also features inline compression via a gold compression nut. There are two acceptable entry points for the nail. One is just medial to the greater tuberosity, or in the center of the humeral head, straight down the humeral shaft. Begin by advancing the 3.2 mm guide pin into the desired entry point and utilize the 10.5 mm entry reamer over the entry wire. The cannulated awl may also be used with gentle rotations to gain entry to the humeral canal. Insert the ball tip guide wire if canal reaming is desired, making sure the tip of the wire is just inside the condylar flare. If the fracture is displaced, the fracture reduction tool can be used to help pass the ball tip guide wire down the humeral canal. Utilizing the guide wire measuring gauge and black line on the guide wire, determine the length of the nail needed. If in between sizes, it is recommended to size down. Pass flexible reamers over the ball tip guide wire. It is recommended to ream 0.5 mm to 1 mm above the size of the desired nail diameter. If inline compression is desired, the compression nut must be preloaded into the nail using the long 3.5 mm hex driver before attaching the nail to the targeting arm. The compression nut should sit just above the dynamic hole so as not to interfere with the drill bit. Attach the nail to the targeting arm by inserting the holding bolt and aligning notches at the top of the nail and the connection point of the targeting arm. Tighten the holding bolt using the 5.0 mm hex driver until the nail is securely fastened. The curvature of the nail should go towards the targeting arm once attached. Tighten the targeting jig onto the targeting arm by spinning the thumb wheel until tight. Insert the nail over the guide wire into the entry portal. Gentle rotations may be necessary to fully insert the nail. If insertion proves difficult, thread the impaction pad onto the top of the targeting arm and use a mallet to advance the nail. Depth markings at the end of the targeting arm will help show the depth of the nail on a radiograph. The first line is 2 mm countersunk, and the second line is 5 mm. If inline compression is used, countersink the nail at least 5 mm. A K wire may also be used through the small hole in the targeting jig to accurately indicate the top of the nail. For inline compression, the distal screw must be inserted first. Utilize the 2.9 mm drill guide and 2.9 mm drill bit to drill bicortically. Utilize the hook tip depth gauge to confirm the depth of the screw needed. Insert the 3.5 mm screw using the 2.5 mm hex driver and T handle until the head of the screw is flush to the bone. After distal screw insertion, Utilize the L-dyne hole on the targeting jig and insert the screw sheath and trocar through a stab incision down to the bone. Remove the trocar and thread in the gold 3.5 mm drill sleeve. Advance the 3.5 mm drill bit through the drill sleeve until just inside the subchondral bone, making sure not to drill into the joint space. Calibrations on the drill bit will indicate the depth of the screw needed. Measurement only corresponds to the threads of the screw and doesn't include the head of the screw. A hook tip depth gauge can also be used for measurement once the 3.5 mm drill guide is removed. Insert the 5.0 mm cancellous interlocking screw through the screw sheath using a 3.5 mm hex driver and T handle until the head of the screw is flush to the bone. Utilizing the same driver used to insert the compression nut, reinsert the driver down the top of the targeting jig and advance the compression nut until adequate compression is achieved across the fracture site. Repeat drilling steps for the remaining proximal screws where needed. If dynamic compression isn't necessary, start with proximal fixation of the nail. Advance the screw sheath and trocar through a stab incision down to the bone. Remove the trocar and thread in the 3.5 mm drill sleeve. Advance the 3.5 mm drill bit until just inside the subchondral bone. 
Obtain the screw measurement off calibrations on the drill bit or the hook tip depth gauge. Insert the 5.0 mm interlocking screw using the 3.5 mm hex driver and T handle until the head of the screw is flush to the bone. Repeat the process for the remaining proximal screws. For distal screw fixation, drill bicortically utilizing the 2.9 mm drill sleeve and drill bit. Once the screw length is determined, use the 2.5 mm hex driver and T handle to insert the 3.5 mm screw. Once the targeting jig is removed, a 2 mm or 5 mm end cap may be used at the top of the nail. The end cap is inserted using the 2.5 mm hex driver. Verify all screw lengths, reduction, and nail position through radiograph imaging.